I'm Bailey Eggbrett, and welcome to MTV Cribs. Nah, I'm just kidding. But welcome to the shop. Y'all were asking for this a while ago, asking about my shop that I'm rigging up downstairs, and we're gonna give you guys a full walkthrough, but hold please. All right, while coffee's brewing, might as well at least show you the podcast studio, because that's gonna take a minute or two. All right. So, the house we got here, Everything I got that is a uh, man cave is down in the basement. Wife sticks me down here. Just kidding, it's just what best works out. And uh, when you first come down to, obviously you wanna come down to uh, a good vibe. You know what I'm saying? So the wife and I have put in a little mini bar, if you will. The lights go in, uh, we got some drinks, different things like that. Uh, we can fill this up with ice, have mimosas on football Sundays. And uh, of course, from our wedding, my brother likes to uh, tease my wife because her name's Alana, A-L-A-N-A, -A -A, and he calls her Alan. Brother's a dick. We got some cool additions, little bar scene we're gonna add to it. Probably put like a little kegerator and things like that in there. Uh, we got the Ducks flag rocking. For those that know me and follow the podcast especially, you guys know I'm a weird sports fan, so uh, you're seeing a lot of different teams and you're gonna see that too. Literally today we're going to watch a Pittsburgh Penguins game in Pittsburgh, but I'm also a Philly fan and a Ducks fan. I'm all over the board, guys. But behold, the studio. Get my hand out of the way so you guys can actually see it. Oh, this looks like a lot, and it is. And my coffee's ready. So I'm gonna go get that so I can actually focus <laughs> and get through this with you guys. And I'm already starting to sweat. This new Blackfish zine that the jacket is freaking got me on fire. So I gotta take this hat off. I just put a little bit of creamer in my coffee and it bubbled. Do I try it? Or do you think that's bad? Well, if you see this video, I lived. All right, back down to the circus that I call the basement. First things first, I need a new hat because I'm sweating. All right, much better. If you guys want to cop any of these, seriousanglernetwork.com. I'll put them down below. It's always in the description. If you guys want to cop some serious angler gear, check out the podcast if you haven't already. Because uh, you're going to see a little bit of where the podcast studio, podcast magic goes down here in a second. But first things first, we have, this is basically a recent uh, adventure here where uh, my father got me a PlayStation 5. So uh, this is basically where I'm gaming. Nothing spectacular whatsoever about that setup. But I have a question for you guys with that. If you wanna see any streaming content, if you guys are on Twitch, something like that, I'm not saying I'm gonna put it on this channel. If you guys are into watching uh, video games, things like that, Fortnite, all that stuff, I used to be pretty big uh, into Call of Duty and stuff like that. And I was thinking, like, if I had the time this year to start a Twitch account and start streaming, and if you guys wanna come on, either talk life, talk fishing, whatever, I might just do it for pure enjoyment. But if you guys wanna come join, uh, by all means, let me know if you're interested in that. Down below in the comments, I'll start and link my Twitch channel and things like that in here. But uh, definitely gonna deck out a little studio for that. Something a little bit better than this. This chair usually is over with the podcast studio, which you guys can see that is a lot and we're gonna get to in a second. Down below is kind of just storage, a bunch of old trophies and things like that, backpacks, extra lithium batteries, jump packs, things like that. Uh, down here uh, is a lot of just like spare fishing stuff, like glass cleaner from TH Marine that I literally use for everything amongst like TV to graphs to laptops, things like that. But a lot of extra cables uh, and camera gear, camera bag. Uh, that is my buck. That is my brother's buck. Shot literally 100 yards apart, five minutes apart. Uh, it makes for a pretty cool story. So maybe I'll tell that one day here on the channel. Uh, and that is my good friend, Smallmouth. This thing is pretty freaking cool, guys. Uh, shout out to my buddy, John King. He made this um, drunk wood. I'll link his stuff down here. That is one of the coolest things that I have in this house, and I love it. Uh, and thinking about it now, I don't have a name for it. I should make a name for it, especially if it's going to be in the background of stuff uh, from podcasts and if I'm going to be doing some video game streaming. Uh, let's make a name for him. What do you guys think? Name, put a name down below. What should I name my wooden smallmouth? Because he's my, he's my good buddy. He's the only one here while I'm working all day. My wife is gone working. He keeps me company. As you can tell, I'm not all there. Over here is the uh, probably least aesthetically pleasing part of the room. Uh, and this is really where I my full-time job as a PR manager. That's where all that happens. And now here, 
is where the magic happens. So we'll start with a little walkthrough. You got a nice fancy dancy sign. I don't work with Genesee or anything like that. I won that in a uh, NYKBF event and it's pretty freaking cool uh, for a man cave. So uh, we hung it up and it makes for a cool piece. And hopefully, um, you know, we're trying to work with Genesee. So um, hopefully one day it goes in the back of a podcast studio. Most of this stuff is all just show here. Um, these are actually some pretty cool pieces. Uh, this is actually as a co-angler here. Um, this, the St. Lawrence tournament. This is one of the coolest things that I have, uh, as well. And this is, um, actually game worn Notre Dame college lacrosse helmet that the head coach of Notre Dame men's lacrosse gave me, uh, I was an intern at Notre Dame for athletics for six months. Um, and he just became a, a good buddy of mine. We, um, I had a job that I was working events and things like that, and um, we got to talking a bunch and knew that I played lacrosse growing up as a kid, hockey, things like that, and was a Notre Dame fan, at least like just watching their lacrosse team. And on uh, the day that I was leaving to leave that internship, he came by and stopped by and uh, gave me a helmet. It was super. Shout out Coach Corgan. That is definitely something that I will keep for the rest of my life. Uh, it's just a big piece of, uh, of growing up uh, and becoming, uh, getting out of college, becoming an adult. And that's pretty freaking cool. Lacrosse holds a, a soft spot in my heart, but, uh, got my degree, things like that. I don't use, <laughs> uh, some more sentimental stuff, uh, and actually some pretty cool things down here. Um, shout out to my man, Mr. Ken Duke, who recommended some of these books to me. Um, highly recommend you guys pick some of these up. I know reading isn't the thing these days, but, uh, pretty cool to see the inception of bass fishing knowledge and things like that, um, back in the day. And behind us, where all this, the studio is, you know, the backdrop for the podcast. Uh, my wife actually made that uh, while we were dating in college uh, for our alumni, I think, because we were both athletes. Uh, the flag of the first championship I made for Bassmaster, that was the first ever Bassmaster kayak championship that they held at Possum Kingdom. Uh, my one and only uh, big tournament finish, uh, the, the one year I fished a legitimate schedule. Uh, this past year was kind of shaky. You guys saw on the channel, I fished a couple tournaments, sucked. Uh, but wasn't really able to travel much, but that was the, probably the biggest staple I've ever had on a career standpoint from tournament fishing. Uh, some local stuff. These mean a lot to me just because, uh, the guys around me were pretty competitive in New York. Angler of the year trophies. Obviously this goes hand in hand with that. This was cool. Helped me get a truck, but that is what means the most. And actually that is the legitimate spinnerbait that won that event for me. Really cool sign I got here. I want to put neon stuff behind get it lit up behind me but uh shout out to my boy force bucket uh he got me that sign uh it's pretty damn cool some more first place trophies this one right here you can see new york invitational i'll link some of those videos down below you can see them in the channel but first ever inaugural new york invitational from every trail over the state came and at the top 10 competed and uh won the first one so it's pretty good uh, this is actually, this is pretty cool. Uh, shout out to my boy, Nate Oyslaw, who I don't, I doubt he watches my channel. Um, but we were tournament partners back in high school and college days. The first ever boat tournament we ever fished. We fished it together and we won it. <laughs> and we thought we were super cool. And afterwards we got our absolutely butt handed to us. But first one we ever fished, uh, we won the dang thing on our home lake. Super dang cool. Some more checks and different things. My mass collection of hats. Uh, this is actually a Genesee floaty, like literally it's a beer can from Genesee that, uh, is a float and I don't know why I have it back here, but, uh, we got some more serious angler merch stuff back here. Again, if you want some, I'll ship them out to you. They'll come straight from me over here. Of course we got some spoons, my lax people. We got camera gear all the way up throughout here. Some different camera gear, things like that. And then we got the studio. This right here is where I live and breathe for the most part. Um, this is where all the serious angler stuff gets done. This is where all the editing gets done for, for videos. So a lot of stuff happens right here. Bunch of just office stuff, business things. Uh, but here is where uh, we got podcast equipment, soundboard, other cameras. Say hi. And then, of course, we got MacBook, monitor, uh, different things like that. Uh, these actually make, I don't know if you guys know about these, but uh, the Hummingbird chip holders like these make for great things for sd cards memory cards things like that uh notepads of course to keep us handy <laughs> christmas gifts that i have not used yet and obviously the coffee that we have not drinking yet good reminder as you guys can see adhd totally forgot i even had this this is uh, a fun room and we'll take you guys to the more fun room now 
because this is uh this is where i think you guys will really enjoy it this is the shop this is what i qualify as the shop and uh it's kind of got the room split in half if you will so we're gonna start and we're gonna end up back here at the bait wall when you walk in uh we got a bunch of our hunting gear uh from bows and things like that i'm actually sidebar totally diving deep back into bow hunting uh next year so i'm gonna be getting a whole new setup uh, I'm going to go check out a shop and everything like that. And you guys will see it on my social media. If you follow me, I'm going to put that journey back up there. I doubt I'm going to put hunting videos on YouTube. Uh, definitely going to put some content from hunting on uh, my social media. You guys know I bring my life onto that thing and uh, allows you guys to keep up with me. But yeah, something that's coming forward and you guys can see some hunting stuff in through here. I obviously got the uh, the weaponry over here. Uh, and up top, we got some, some hunting stuff, Ozonics, things like that. Uh, things for hanging cameras and bows and all that stuff. Trail cameras, things like that that I haven't put out yet. Straps to go with each and I actually got spare motor parts back in there just in case. Uh, charging stuff for the X2 batteries that we'll get to in a second. Again, more hunting stuff, rattle bags, um, you know, triggers, stuff like that, range finders, all that necessity stuff for hunting that you guys probably don't care about. Uh, more shooting stuff, our aqua view, old hockey gear that I didn't even realize was up there. Um, some stuff from Yak Gear and Rail Blaza, that's extras, that's backups, as well as some tools and things like that. More tools and uh, real bags for when I travel. Uh, we got more uh, tools, spare uh, battery chargers, uh, spare battery box. Uh, this is actually something I was supposed to put up, but this I'm actually gonna hang up. It's a, uh, it's a Rail Blaza thing you had to screw into the wall and allows me to spool uh, my reel way easier. Definitely recommend getting that. Uh, we got our collection of X2 power lithium batteries. Uh, to walk you through real fast, we have a new motor coming that this is going to run. Uh, probably a spoiler alert, but uh, this is a 36 volt, 40 amp X2 power lithium. Uh, we got a new motor coming for next year. That's gonna be pretty cool to run. Uh, and we'll show you guys all that in the setup video when we get our new Hobie in. And then we got our 50 amps. This one, we got a backup and one that I'll use. I'll charge them both and kind of uh, you know, if I have a two-day event or something like that, I'll have one and two, and I can just swap them out and not have to worry about charging them, especially where I'm at if I'm sleeping in my truck. Um, but got backups, uh, and then I have a 20-amp that I'll get to in a second and show you guys what I'm going to use that for, but one of them being the GoPros. And uh, our current motor status, we got two batteries for the Torquedo. Um, allows me, if I want to, be excessive. You guys know me. I bring a lot of stuff. If I want to do graphing a lot that day or cover a lot of ground, I'm going to bring both batteries. Lighten up on my load, kind of offset it. Uh, but I'll bring two batteries, and that's what's nice to have here. And um, we're going to get a whole power strip connected up through here to make things a little bit safer uh, because we're going to make this a whole charging station. This is usually why I do it, but I can only hook up two different things. Uh, and so it's going to be pretty clutch to see how we do that. But we got our birds, we got the 10 and the 9 in here for the winter. Um, we got our Mega Live and on our Sniper Marine mount down here. Uh, we just got things inside for the winter, obviously, making sure we're taking care of our stuff. Uh, but it's gonna be pretty cool to see how this system helps me this year stay more organized. We got backup rain gear, Rail Blaza stuff, more parts, uh, saddle, some more hunting gear. This is all my hunting clothes in this bag, different things like that. More hunting clothes back in there, packages to send out, all the Sears Angler merch. We don't have a huge house, so some of this stuff is pretty crammed. You're probably in there like, oh my God, it's like Jenga. I mean, it, it is, uh, but it's definitely gonna be, it's way better than it was. Uh, and it's going to be pretty good for this coming year. Just like uh, how this is madness. I got about 30 rods that are all stacked up in through here, a co-mingle of brands. Uh, you guys know I don't have uh, a brand that I have to be loyal to, uh, although that might be changing for 2024. But beyond rods, we got all of our tackle boxes here. Uh, I think there might actually be a couple more outside. Uh, we'll take you go see the rig. Uh, we got our steps for our saddle that we'll be hunting out of this coming year. Um, a sea tug under there from Roblaza helps me, uh, that's for pulling the kayak. I got some extra spare soft plastics, things in bags and things bucketed here uh, that I didn't really have pegs for. They're kind of like a miscellaneous, if you will. Um, and then we have some more tackle boxes here. This is just stuff I'd, I want to keep around that are like stuff I have like 40 of. Extra boxes too though, like just spare stuff. We got jig box. Uh, mag draft box. That's literally all mag drafts and spare swim bait parts. Uh, jerk bait box. We got, yeah, I'll show you guys all these. That's our jerk bait box. We got 
our trap box, things like 20 pounds. We got our spinnerbait box, A-rigs and jig heads, uh, new baits actually from Berkeley uh, and some spy baits. I'll show you guys these actually, because by the time this video out, they're gonna launch them. Uh, but new, we got some spy baits, some little JDM baits in here. Um, but let me get this thing out here. This is the Berkeley finisher. It's a new bait I sent to just try out. Pretty unique, uh, caught a couple fish on it. Definitely still trying to dial it in, but you can see that interesting line tie. Um, they call it a glide bait for walleye guys, but uh, uh, it's certainly like a twitch bait. It's pretty interesting actually you can, how you can work it, especially forward facing, but got a little summer box here. Uh, this is for all my treble hooks. We have a commingle of blade baits, spoons, uh, jig and wraps, tube heads, cold water box, or when I want to be sneaky box. Uh, this is one that's just kind of top water prop baits, some uh, balsa, hopefully I don't knock all my things over. Uh, hybrid hunters specifically. And then we got our Carolina rig box as well as some spoons uh, that we got in there. With, oh, there's buzz baits in there too. So we got a whole assortment. I'll arrange this crap later. Uh, literally a commingle of different boxes, like I was saying, like literally broken stuff. But this is all flat sides, frit sides, evergreens. Uh, things like that, Rapalas. Um, this is all of my terminal tackle, 40 pound box, but it's all up in there. Definitely recommend those Spro boxes. I might actually be switching to all those as well as these cheaper Plano uh, stowaways that are actually pretty legit. Um, straight up Money Badger box. We got a deep cranking box. If you guys got questions about what's in these too, by all means, let it rip. Square bill box. You see we're quite prepared. Uh, we got all of our jig heads. Uh, this is a box I haven't used in a long time, but uh, straight up missile baits D-bomb box. And then we got all chatter baits, jackhammers, things like that. We got our frog box. We got top water box number one. These are the go-to top waters. And then we have our backup top waters. So we got a whole bunch of stuff over here and then lastly the last part of the room we have a microwave and obviously a little oven this is for all of my do it mold stuff uh that i have in here uh, for pouring jig, uh, jig heads as well as pouring some soft baits so we're going to be doing a bunch of that this winter getting some stuff ready got a rusted hook file that i don't even think is uh as good anymore uh some extra tackle boxes this is just for line management things like that some real to care stuff um, storage, ice fishing, things that I rarely ever use. Uh, all my line to keep everything organized. A random, random jig. Uh, this actually is a light here to do some social media stuff. Uh, but we have our do-it molds, a bunch of BKK jig heads, some extra owner stuff. Uh, keep things organized, some swim baits, some extra random tackle, glide baits, things like that. These are kind of just random stuff that I have mixed in here. A uh, bunch of different jig heads for Domekian. Shout out to our boy, Ben Nowak, his new uh, Minobi bait that he dropped this year. Got a bunch of those. Some custom hair jigs from my boy Zach. Make some pretty good ones. Um, and then some more, obviously, assorted baits and such. Uh, we got random tools. This is honestly a mess. Um, no, this is not what you think it is. This is actually a fizz needle for fish. Don't get ahead of yourself. And then a bunch of extra rail blaze amounts, uh, as well as the hydro wave, uh, that I'm waiting to put on the new boat. Super excited about keeping up using that. And I got some content coming already shot for that. Uh, we have a bunch of our big giant baits. Uh, if you can guess what bait is in there, uh, I'll send you some actually. We'll figure something out. Uh, all my reels that I took off of my rods, I got a bunch of different things to do. Might even be selling some here. Uh, and then we have the monstrosity. You can see a lot of Berkeley stuff with my my job. Of course, we run into some free baits now and then. Uh, some striking different assortment of baits that we got here on the wall. Uh, so it's uh, a lot of the goods. And then, of course, laundry. So it's kind of chaos. But this system's going to keep me up pretty good. And actually, there's one more thing I got to show you guys. Um, because it's pretty dang cool and I'm excited to use it. Uh, so ever since I started using a kayak cushion, it has helped save my back. I got a pretty messed up back, uh, especially at 26. You're like, how the hell? 
sports messed me up pretty good. Uh, and I was born actually with, it's not scoliosis. I just some weird thing like my hip joint and spine. Don't, I don't know. Either way, I messed up and I can't sit still very much because I get uncomfortable. But the kayak cushion helps me big time when I'm out in the water. And I went and invested in two so I can have one on my back cushion, on my back part of the seat and as well as sitting on it uh, on my seat. And the dude at kayak cushion hooked me up big time. Got the Sears Angler logo on there. Uh, pretty freaking cool deal. So we get to rep the podcast while we're uh, around the kayak a bunch. So super cool system. I love having this here. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough of the crib. If you kind of like this back behind the scenes stuff, let me know, like, subscribe, appreciate y'all. A bunch of more stuff coming. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.